The time has now come to paint these components, but before I do that, I need to install these upper platforms onto the Admiral's bridge. That's because I want to blend in the windows of the compass platform and just sort out some other defects on the Admiral's bridge before painting. I can then paint all these parts as a single component. There is no real issue with me installing the Admiral's bridge onto these platforms at this point. There is some stuff that I need to do underneath the Admiral's bridge and above the Admiral's bridge, but as long as I can lift this component as a single piece off of the Admiral's bridge platform, then I'll be able to do all of that work quite easily. To glue these components together, I use Tamiya extra thin plastic cement. After giving the plastic cement a short time to dry, I then work on filling the gaps below the compass platform windows. Normally I would use putty to fill these gaps, but these gaps are particularly small and delicate, so I decided I'm going to fill them using extra thick super glue. It's also quite an easy area to access, so I'll be able to easily file it off. After waiting a short amount of time, I then do file off that super glue, and I get the effect that I was looking for. Then, as always, to check my work, I spray the area with Mr. Surfacer to fill the micro scratches and to reveal any defects that I haven't noticed. Fortunately, I'm happy with how these components look, so I can then move straight on to painting. I'm painting this component using Tamiya XF53. This is the color that I'm using to represent the superstructure color for HMS Hood. After spraying this area of the superstructure with XF53, I move on to spray the Admiral's Bridge. I might as well spray it at this point since it is going to be painted in XF53 anyway, and well, it's available to me. And there's also this small block-like structure that goes beneath the Admiral's platform that also needs to be sprayed in XF53, so I do it at the same time. I've had quite a few plastic components lying around on my workbench for some time now, it's good to be finally connecting them to each other and painting them. I did realize at this point that I made a bit of a mistake. I should have installed the hatches for the compass platform. I cut off two hatches from the Flyhawk detail upgrade kit and quickly fold them into shape. I then loosely position them in the location where I want to glue them down and I glue them down using extra thin super glue applied with a wire. Following which, I paint the hatches with Tamiya XF53, the color that I use to paint the rest of the superstructure. After masking off the walls, I then can spray the decks in XF82. The masking is just a little bit more involved than usual due to the decks being rather small and constrained within these sectioned off areas with balustrades and walls and the like. But it's not too bad and I'm able to easily spray the decks. Once the paint has dried, I then remove the masking tape and check my work. There are a few touch-ups here and there that I need to make. I do this with a brush. It's not going to be noticeable. There's no need to do small touch-ups with an airbrush. I'm happy with how this is looking. It's definitely a massive improvement over the stock components. The windows are blended in nicely, the compass platform has those openings at the correct height now, the hatches, the width of the torpedo control position has been widened, and all these components are sanded and blended into each other very nicely. This has been a success. In the next video, I'll create wind baffles for the forward air defense platform and install it onto this structure. If you would like to support this channel or see how this ship looks when it is completed, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.